Um, Heather? Hello. Hi, Heather. Okay. Thanks Great. Heather. Thanks. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Not too bad, thanks. Good to speak to you. <laughs> where, where exactly are you today? I am exactly in my flat in London. Lovely. And, uh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you're b back with a vengeance. Um, well, back with a new album, let's put it that yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I, I don't want to think of it as a vengeance. I think it's more of a positive, <laughs> kind of laid back. Yes. Kind of vengeance. Yes. Uh, can, can you believe that this is album four already? No, no. I, you know, when I first started, I just thought, you know, my goal was to make an album. I thought that would be a life's achievement. Mm. But what happens after you make each album is you just want to make another one. Mm. Like, uh, it's addictive. Mm. Yeah, like like most things. And uh, and not to say that uh, the albums that came before it were not as good, but um, are you particularly proud of this album? Um, you know, I feel very attached to all the albums I've done. They, they kind of represent different phases of my life and... And they're all very personal to me, so I couldn't say that that I like one better than the other. They're just different different times. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, a process. Um, I mean, I, I think just reading, you know, how this album came together, um, almost a very natural process. Nothing, you know, you did that it all seemed to come together on its own. Yeah. Well, some of it did, you know. Um, I mean, I, I wrote the I wrote the album on a on a trip back home to Bermuda because. I can't really write on the road. It's it's too chaotic. Mm. Um, I love being on the road. I absolutely love playing live, but it's it's a totally different frame of mind to writing mm. because writing's a very inward thing and touring's a very outward thing. Mm. Um, so yeah, I wrote all the songs and then I came back to London and intended to make some demos first of all. But you know, and we were in a very small room, so small that I mean, if you turned around, your guitar would hit the person next to you. So. <laughs> So we were just having a really relaxed time, you know, having a bottle of wine and just spending the week um, making these demos. But I realized halfway through that the atmosphere was really pretty special that we were getting on mm. tape. And and that that is the most important thing when you make a recording. It's it's the atmosphere and the, and the performance. And it doesn't matter if you go into the best hi-fi studio in the mm. world, you know, that a record is, is dead without those elements. Mm. So... Oh, yeah, I used um, some of those recordings on the album. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, this album came. You know, I mean, the last album you, you know, I mean, you toured quite extensively. I mean, you came all the way down to South Africa as well, which was yeah. fantastic. I did catch that show um, in Cape Town, which was uh, was very special. I think, and uh, the fans down here really appreciated that. But oh, um, yeah, the audience was wonderful. Yes, as I say, it was very unexpected. I think, um, and when you, know, you it's, it's so funny because you, you write these little songs in your bedroom, and then they take you all over the world. Mm, mm. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, as as an artist, I mean, like we were saying, this is album four. You had anti you had anticipated doing only one album, you know, and that would have been enough, and then um, it became more. Um, is it difficult to sort of find that balance that you know you're doing it? for the passion and doing it for yourself first before, you know, you're doing it because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a cool way to make a living. Yeah. No, it's, it's always that way for me. I'm always writing. When I write songs, I write them really for myself because I need to write them and because for me it's, it's such a creative challenge. I, I, I just find it very fulfilling to write a song. Mm -hmm. So I do it um, to satisfy myself. And then, you know, like for this album, I had written about 40 songs, so... You know, choosing the ones that I release is a, is a separate process. Mm, mm, mm. And then with this album, working with the people that you did, um, I always find it uh, interesting, and I'm sure it goes for all artists, uh, be they British or American, when they work with different cultures, for lack of a better word, uh, what those people are able to bring to you know bring to the party. Mm -hmm. uh, was was that something that uh, you know that that you enjoyed hearing? What working with different people? Mm, yeah. Yeah, you know, each album is, is an opportunity to try something new as well, and I, I think it's it's a safe thing to make the same album again and again, but because you know your fans are going to buy it. But I, I think for for me, it's it's got to be a challenge each time. And with this album, I um, you know, I was trying as a writer and also in the arrangements to keep it very direct, very kind of natural and organic, but also with a with a freshness that that would keep it 
sounding quite modern. Mm. And, um, and yeah, and I, I got to go to some different places to work with different producers. And I'll always, I'm always up for trying something, you know, because mm. I figure you can always throw it away if it doesn't work, but why not give it a try? Mm-hmm. So I, wor- I went to Sweden to work with a producer there. I went to L.A. and worked with a producer there. And, um, and then some, a couple of things happened just totally spontaneously, like um, with Brian Adams. I mean, we we're old friends, and I was just around at his house having dinner one night and right. I played him the recordings I was working on and he just sort of jumped up when he heard that one song and said, you know, I've got some ideas for the production. Mm. And so uh, we went into his um, home studio and messed around with, with ideas for that. So, you know, very uh, kind of spontaneous. Mm. It ha- happened in a very natural way. And clearly you, you're not afraid to, you know, to try new things and, into, and to include people into, you know, into that process to make it better. Yeah, I mean, because the songwriting for me is really a very, is something I, I do all on my own, except for the one song that I wrote with Bernard. Um, mm. I, I write all the stuff myself. Mm. So when it comes to the next step, which is the studio, then I like it to be more of a collaboration. Mm. And yeah, like you say, in, inviting people into the mm. circle. Now, th- this is this is an album that uh, is going to see you back out on the road again. Is that something you're looking yeah, forward starting to? starting next week, a big, uh, a two-month tour of Europe. Okay, and are you looking forward to that? Absolutely, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I really love love touring. Where 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 is your biggest base? Just um, you know, um, it's mostly I guess it'd be divided between Germany and the States, mm-hmm. and and Holland too is big, and Scandinavia. Mm-hmm. And uh, will you be playing pretty much um, you know a, a full set of stuff across all albums? Or uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Mm. I mean, is it is it interesting to you that you know playing songs that you've written a long time ago? Um, that to you um, is it something that you still enjoy doing? That you're not sort of going, oh, you know, God, we got to play. It depends. Pla- yeah. It depends. Sometimes you really grow out of a song. Hmm. Sometimes it, it it feels uncomfortable to sing it. Um, but then there are other songs which I revisit, and and it's kind of nice. It's kind of nostalgic. Hmm. Because but I mean, there are definitely songs that I don't I don't play anymore. Right. And just because, as you said, uh, it's like when the songs written for South were written at a time, um, almost um, documenting, you know, a period in your life. Um, yeah. And yeah, probably in some respects, you don't want to re- revisit that. Sometimes you don't. Mm. Sometimes you just moved on and you don't, you don't want to go back. Mm, mm, mm. And then musically, um, with this album... It, you know, I, I mean, I've been listening to it um, for the last three days, pretty much solid. And you haven't cluttered it, you know, with with too much technology, too much production. Yet it's not it's not purely acoustic, for lack of a better right. word. Um, right. it, 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 was it was that sort of a difficult uh, was it difficult to get that balance that it, it came out sounding yeah, it that was. way? It was. It was difficult to get that balance in a way because. Like I said, I wanted something that was very organic and natural, but I didn't want it just to be like a folk record, you know, with acoustic guitars. Um, And so I I think I was just trying to find a kind of purity, and it's like getting it down to the the fewest ingredients that that you need. And so, I mean, I think a hip-hop beat can be just as pure as an acoustic guitar, and when you start mixing stuff up like that, it's it's nice. Mm -hmm. Because it it seemed in a way, I mean, with you you know, moving back home and doing stuff like that, it was like, okay, all of this stuff has happened to you, um, it's it's all been great, but you want to take some time just to almost ground yourself again, to be able Absolutely. to, you know, push off again in, in the next direction. Yeah, yeah, I have to do that in between tours, and that's why I go back home to Bermuda, because that's where I can ground myself and get centered again and, and just focus focus in on, on, on who I am, mm. because touring takes you in so many directions, you know, and you're, you're traveling and you're mm. meeting hundreds of people every week. So. Mm. And everybody wants a piece of you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I think even worse when people try and for, will, will profess that they, they understand what makes you uh, tick as well, I'm sure that must be quite interesting when people tell you their perceptions of, uh, you know, of you and the music that yeah. you write. It is. I just kind of listen and smile. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you've been dabbling, well, I mean, for a long time now, but um, um, you're going to be publishing some poetry as well? Which yeah, yeah. I, I've always written poetry, and it's very separate to the lyrics that I write. You know, a lyric, when I write one, is always attached to a melody. I write I write the music and the words together. Mm. So um, when I write a poem, it's, 
it's something different. It has its own rhythm and it, and it stands on its own. Mm. And I think there's something sort of more intimate about poems. Mm -hmm. And I was just thinking about your brother the other day. He's, uh, oh, yeah. He hasn't done much for a while. Is, is, is he, he known down there? He is. His album was released here. Oh, that's great. I'll, I'll tell him. Yeah. Because, um, he, he lost his record deal. I see. Because uh, he was on Creation Records and when they folded, um, mm. he lost his deal a couple of years ago and mm. he's, He's living back in Bermuda. He had a baby, and but he's trying to get signed again. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just very hard right now. Yes, yes, yeah. So you, I'm know, just... if you don't have what sounds like a possible commercial hit single. Record companies aren't taking that many risks. Mm, mm, mm. Because I mean, I must say, uh, you know, the first single for this album um, is, I mean, certainly the most commercial track on it. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't have chosen it. No. But that, that's the thing. As, as a single, I would probably choose something that would flop on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you do what you do and they do what they That's do. Right. <laughs> um, well, Heather, thank you for your time. It's been great speaking to you. All right, thanks a lot. Um, good luck with it, not that you need it. Um, well, everybody needs it. <laughs> no, well, hopefully we can get you back down to South Africa at some point and uh, you can play some of the new, the, the new tracks to us. Yeah, I hope so. Great. All right. Thank you so much. Take care. Thanks, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.